Tonight, new research shows a dramatic rise in anti-Semitic incidents across the U.S. WJC is live. Alba Joy Burnett reports on the disturbing statistics and what's behind this troubling trend. Alba Joy. Very good evening. The Anti-Defamation League says complaints of hateful acts against Jews are on track to be even higher than last year. Even the president is addressing the subject. Images of toppled headstones at a Jewish graveyard damaged on purpose in St. Louis. Anti-Semitic flyers with swastikas imprinted on them littered across one Harford County neighborhood. The Anti-Defamation League says complaints about hateful acts against Jews have spiked significantly from 291 in the first quarter of 2016 to 541 for the first quarter of this year. The Anti-Defamation League said complaints ranged from harassment of Jews to vandalism. Of course, we have a, a political environment that's been particularly charged the last several months. We think that's part of the reason. Others feel emboldened, perhaps, to express views. There was also a wave of bomb threats against Jewish community centers. Some of those calls were blamed on a 19-year-old in Israel with dual citizenship. It was a, definitely a very, very intense time. Now, after that suspect was arrested, leaders here at the JCC in Owingsville said the threats immediately stopped. But they've continued with existing security procedures, which includes armed guards. And I tell our staff often, uh, we can't control everything that goes on in the world around us, but we can control the culture we want to have at the JCC. And what culture is that? That everybody is welcomed. We embrace diversity. President Trump has been accused of not condemning anti-Semitism, but this week he made a pledge to the Jewish people. We will confront anti-Semitism. We will stamp out prejudice. We will condemn hatred. We will bear witness and we will act. Now, there have been cases where children have been accused of carrying out hateful acts against Jews. The ADL says parents have a responsibility to teach their children the right thing. Reporting live tonight, Ava Joy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Ava Joy, thank you. Based on the trend so far this year, the Anti Defamation League says complaints of anti Semitic incidents are on track to surpass 2,000 this year.